This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening and welcome to this first look at sports on a Monday. I am Julian Gibson. On Saturday night at the Kendall High 6 Gym, amateur boxing took the spotlight. Promoter, Alkino Saunders. We need a new breed, and the, which, other, which better way right now to bring a new breed is to come out and, you know, put something together for the fight is something to look forward to. Who got you into this promoting? Uh, I know you was boxing one time ago. You must have give up on that, and now you're promoting. A lot of us is on our way out and stuff like that, and, you know, personally, I don't have the, 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 the atmosphere to go back in the ring right now, and I don't want to just throw away what I have, my knowledge, you know, not trying to help out the young guys. I want to give something back to the community, and if uh, putting together successful fights for amateurs and professionals to come out and participate to give something to the back to the community, then so shall it be. Now for the boxers, they were all glad to shake off the rust and get back into the boxing ring. Well, I just like, like sticking them with my job, and when I'm punching them, how you feel about the event? I feel happy. I feel great. I feel, I feel awesome. And it's a good fight. These are two of the kids of our program, and they've been on our program for about a year now. Gabriel Newbold is a very seasoned fighter. This is Randy Dan's first fight. He got his foot wet tonight. We thank everybody for just giving us the opportunity to come in here and get these kids seasoned. Hope we can turn some world champions, some Olympians out of them. I think he had a good chance to win, but like I say, it was the exhibition. I think it was a very good exhibition. I think Baltus did a wonderful job, you know, and it was a, it was a, it was a good fight. We were both sparring partners years ago, but since I switched club with the Swaggers Boxing Club, I came from champion amateur Ray, Ray Minus and went with Ron Rogers, but it went very good. No, even though I know I was the top dog and he was the underdog, I know I could have taken advantage very easily, but I gave him a chance to um, show his skills and talent in the ring. And it was yesterday when we told you about two promising golfers, Cameron Riley and Ryan Cobell. Well, tonight you will hear from their proud parents. I couldn't hold it back. I had to let him know that's my boy. And I was proud of him and Cameron. They pulled through. Uh, they were uh, like a sleeping giant. When uh, they actually announced their name, a lot of people were surprised that two young men was able to actually take control of a golf course and beat a very strong field. He's a well-rounded young man. He puts a lot of time into golf along with swimming, soccer, and his schoolwork. He's an A student. I support him at any opportunity I can. I see a lot of potential in him. I see a scholarship career for him, and he knows what he needs to do to get the job done. How important it is for parents to back their kids, not even back, but push their kids? Oh, it is extremely important. Uh, just like any other sport, the kids play for the parents. As long as they see the kid, the, the parents on the sidelines, they see them at practice, at the driving range and stuff, it's super important. Uncles, even the extended family, ask them, uh, you know, how they doing? Be interested. And finally in sports, yes, the Miami Dolphins lost yesterday after leading for most of the ball game. And these are some troubling times for the B3s. On Saturday, they attempted to elect council members, but an injunction was placed on those elections. So can anybody intervene and bring some order to this organization? I think National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottis might be a great person because he's well respected in the track and field world. Julian, I'm glad you asked that question. I myself, with the support of the Executive Board of the Coaches Association, tried to mediate and provide intervention on behalf of the Federation from, from some time before the World Championships. All right, we, we seem to have been getting somewhere and then right at the very last moment, right before the World Championships, uh, the person who we were, were meeting with on behalf of the Federation um, flipped the script, all right, to our surprise. I've always been aware that, that those on this side, so to speak, have always been willing to negotiate and has, has made that public within our Federation and, 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 and for the general, uh, uh, and for all Bahamians. But the other side is just not willing to sit down and solve this dispute unless they have their way, even if they pull the Federation down with them. In fact, Secretary General Carl Oliver, a former athlete, believes the infighting is not good for track. It's frustrating I mean, to all of us and saying that uh, we want to move the Federation in the right direction. We want to comply with the rules and the regulations that govern us, but there's a certain group out there. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get their way, and that's sad, you know? 
That's sad. For Lindale Lewis, who is the mother of track and field athlete Kirk Lewis, she is totally disgusted. Honestly, I'm very, very saddened by this because I believe that the coaches and all coaches, I'm not into the side thing. Coaches here, coaches who are not here, help develop my son. And now he's off to college. And so I was very happy to be a part or to advocate or give any support I can to these coaches who have changed the life of my son and many other Bahamians, most of whom I know, especially the young ones who just went off in August. And I really want to see, and I spoke to the president about this, that they must get together, work it out. There's no way that this organization, 60 years, can afford to allow our youth to be compromised in this position. I want them to work together. I know it can happen, and I really need to see that mediation, if necessary. But I would really like for us parents to get together and to let them know we, we have to work it out. We need all of these people because it's a national initiative. It's a national initiative, and I think that they've got to remember that. Our children are calling and asking, how is it going? I can't tell them this. Well, from the bad to the very good, our under-15 girls volleyball national team, they're getting themselves ready to head to Trinidad and Tobago in December. Looking at their development um, over the past two to three months, I must say that they have come a long way. I cannot say that I know the competition that they will be up against, but based on what they have learned, they should do extremely well. Well, I think the young ladies will do very well at this tournament. Being the first time that the Bahamas is represented, we're going to represent 242 very well. I have been with these young ladies for over the, over the past 18 months. I must say that they're focused and they're determined and they're, they're willing to do their best that they can do. And they're going to represent our country well. I think our team will do exceptionally well because we are working as a team together now and we've been training really hard. And I think that what we have put into practice, we will do at the game as well. I think the team should do extremely well. Um, our chemistry has gotten a lot better, and I have a lot of faith in our team and be able to medal this year. I think that our team will come back with the goal because over the last couple of months we've been practicing on our chemistry, our hard work, and we are going to go with the experience and our hard work and our hearts to this Trinidad CBC. And finally, in sports, 21 behemoths were inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame on Friday night past. Sports Minister Dr. Danny Johnson saluted all of them for their efforts. Former Sports Minister Kendall Nottage was one of those heroes. I called a gentleman only two days after I was made minister. And I said, you know, we're standing on this foundation. What should we be doing? What was the mission that we began out on? What did we set out on? What was the course? I called five of them, and one showed up within 48 hours. And he is the one that gave me the idea that this ministry of youth, sports, and culture, you push people to be number what? El numero uno. The great Kendall Nottage, my inspiration. Of course, we're going to have more from that ceremony all week long. Well, it's all the time for sports on a Monday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight continues after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.